Hey guys, if you want to see me slay this quick weave bob with no leave out, no closure, then continue watching. What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I last posted, but I am back today with another video. And this video is me doing a quick weave bob, no leave out, no closure. And I'm going to share with you guys how I did this bob. So if you're interested, of course, in watching, then continue watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. If you have any comments, I try to answer those as soon as I can. Um, so go ahead and leave those comments down below and we'll go ahead and get right into the video. So as you guys saw in the beginning of the video, I had my hair braided. I had some pretty nice size braids, but that didn't bother me. It's my head. I didn't have a problem with that. Of course, if I would have did someone else's hair, the braids would have been much smaller. But I don't mind the size braids that I have because I'm the one who have to wear it. Um, so I had my hair braided. I put a stocking cap on and I molded that stocking cap down with the weave wonder wrap. And I sat under the dryer for about 10 minutes and I just trimmed the excess uh, cap off around the front and the back. And then I began to lay the tracks, which is the 10 inch tracks, which you see me doing here. And when I get in the top is when I'll start with 12 inch and I will come back when we get to that point. So this is where I started with the 12 inch hair. I'm basically going to lay the trace the same way I did with the 10 inch hair itself. I'm going to bring the, um, the front around more in my face than just side to side. And then I will insert some blonde pieces to give my bang highlights, which is what you see me doing right here. And when I'm done inserting those pieces, I will just finish closing off the top until I have a very small circle, which is where I will insert my closure piece. So to make the closure, I just cut a piece of the track hair. I put some glue along the width of the track. I waited till the glue got kind of tacky and then I just started rolling the track very, very tightly, very small. And I just made sure that I kind of like pressed in that glue to make sure that glue was all the way dry. And now I'm just finding the center of that piece to spread the hair out so that I can get the flat irons and kind of flatten it out as flat as I can get it. So that when it's time to glue it on the top in my, um, closure piece area then i would be able to lay it very very flat and you won't be able to see any tracks So now I'm going to actually go in to start cutting the bob and I use the ponytail method because it works for me. By me doing my own hair, it's hard to see in the back and this ponytail method allows me to have a nice clean cut, especially with me trying to use two mirrors at one time. So I use this method and it works really well. I'm just taking the shears and I'm cutting above that rubber band and after I cut the back, I'm going to go in and trim the sides 
and then I'll go in and put the layers in my bang and then I will go in with the flat iron. So continue watching for the final look and I will be back. So this is the finished look of this bob. This is a quick weave bob. 
No leave out, no closure. Yeah, so this is it, you guys. Thank you for watching. See y'all in the next video. Bye.